Hello there everyone and happy Easter Sunday. What an exciting day. And to top it all off, the weather today is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a really exciting day planned so I figured I may as well vlog it and bring you all along with me. First off, I think the Easter Bunny might have been around last night and actually decorated our table a little bit. That's what Charlie's told me anyway. So I'm going to pop downstairs and see what he's done down there because I've got no idea at all and I didn't know he was coming. So I hope the house was tidy and ready for him because I really don't think it was. Um, and then secondly, we've got a really nice afternoon tea planned for a latish lunch. We bought some nice bits from M&S the other day. So it'd be really lovely to sit down and have a proper good quality afternoon tea or as good quality as you can get during a lockdown. And then in the afternoon, I've been conferring with the Easter Bunny and me and him have decided to put on an Easter egg for Charlie. So long as she's good up until that point. So that's what we're going to get up to this afternoon and I'll take you guys along with me as I'm putting things in place. And I think that's about it. We might play a bit of Switch today. I might go on a nice Easter walk. Who knows? Um, so yeah, as always, I'll bring you all along with me. I'm really, really excited. It's going to be such a fun day. And let's just get started. All right then. No sign of the Easter Bunny over there. I can't see any footprints. So I've had a few moments to soak it all in and the Easter Bunny, aka Charlie, has done a really, really nice job. It's so beautiful. First of all, I just want to show you my dress. How cute is this? A little pasta purple, a colour that I've never actually had before in my wardrobe. So I'm really, really happy with this, really like it. I just want to show you the table. Oh, it's so cute. So we've got little bunny confettis, I think, like confettis, yeah. Little bunny confettis, little circles. We've got these really cute jars, which I know are from Asda. So Easter Bunny has got good taste. So are the placemats and the cup holders. We've got such cute little wrapping of the cutlery there. Don't know how the Easter Bunny has got those skills. We've obviously got some mini eggs, of course. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. As I said, we're having an afternoon tea. So we're going to be having that on there. Those are little pins for our cakes, I assume. We've got the most beautiful tulips ever, which we bought a few days ago, which are just starting to open up now right on time. We've got a naughty treat basket filled with naughty treats. And there is a card here. Happy Easter. Do tell me just a little wish for the loveliest Easter. Happy Easter, beautiful. Love from your honey bunny. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Very beautiful card. Thank you. So yeah, really, really nicely decorated. And then over here, ah! <laughs> there's just a few bits with um a tag on it for me. So maybe I'm allowed to sit down and open these up now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then let's go. Let's start a little time lapse of me opening up what I've got. Okay, so first of all, we've got a lint bunny, which is something my grandma always used to buy me as a child. And I used to take these bracelets off. Well, they're not bracelets, obviously, but I used to take this thing off and wear it as a bracelet for days after I ate the bunny, which is really quite tacky, actually, but it's just a nice little reminder. So I'm really happy with that. We've then got my big egg which is something that I actually kind of asked for a little bit. And it's a lint egg and in the bottom, I don't know how well you can see, but you've got lots of little balls in there or, I don't know, little eggs in there. So I'm really excited about that because I love lint chocolate, so good quality. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to Five minutes later Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you 
You're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. <laughs> How come I wasn't offered that spoon? Um. I was never the one. No! The ghost. no, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors and never respect Okay, so time is getting on a bit. It's now 20 to 12. We've made what have we made? What are they called? Cornflake cakes. Cornflake cakes, as you would have seen. They're in the fridge setting and they should be ready for this afternoon. I'm really, really excited for those. We're gonna make lunch now because I haven't had breakfast and I was gonna save myself for like a late afternoon tea, but we'll just have afternoon tea for lunch, it's fine. I just thought I'd update you and let you know that lunchtime is coming a little bit earlier on in the day and that also means that the hunt is gonna be earlier on in the day, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, let's get cracking, let's make some lunch. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down There's Charlie getting into the car I just sent her in there so that I could go round and do the Easter egg hunt. I've told her to drive for 15 minutes and then drive back. So hopefully that's gonna be enough time. Bye. Yeah, I've told her to drive for 15 minutes, like around the local area and then come back after 15. So I'm gonna get out all of the chocolates like that I've got for the Easter egg hunt and start hiding them. I've wrote down all of my clues. I thought of them on a walk the other day. I've got to move fairly quickly because I don't know really how much chocolate I've got. I bought this all quite a while ago. I wanted to try and make it a little bit more fun this year. Last year I did one, but it was a little bit easy. So I've got her running around a little bit on these, hopefully. So yeah, let's get the chocolate out and see what we're working with. Okay, maybe I've gone a little bit overboard now that I've laid it all out. It's looking like quite a lot. I've just had to write two extra clues. So I think that takes me up to a total of 16. And I've laid them all out so that they're in order of clues. And I need to go and put them into the correct places. But before I do that, this is Charlie's basket. And I said to her, do you want to get two of those? Or do you want to get a bigger basket? Because you might need a slightly bigger one. Because I really don't think all of that it's gonna fit in there so I might actually leave this box out so that she can empty her basket every so often and then I've got these little lint balls which the camera really does not want to focus on I'm gonna put some inside this little chick which I found in Asda for like 58 pence and I thought he was so cute and then I'll dot some around on top of the tissue paper but I need to get a move on because she's already been gone for about 10 minutes. So yeah, let's get putting these bits into the correct places. I don't think I'm going to film it because I am kind of in a rush. But I will film when we're doing the actual Easter egg hunt and make sure you can hear some of the clues. So I'll catch up with you in about 10 minutes time. The rules are, you've got 16 clues. You can't move on from the one clue that you're on until you've solved it, okay? They're not that hard. Okay. You've got a little basket here, look. <laughs> look inside. Has anything changed since you last saw the basket? Eggs! Look at your little, your little chick friend. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So that's your little basket. And are you ready for your first clue? Yeah. Are you ready for all of these clues? Yeah. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! To reveal the first one, you might want to put on a pair of... Shoes! Aye! <laughs> Hold your basket for you. Is there mm. any particular pair of shoes? That's not your drawer. Oh. 
any particular pair of shoes that you think you might want to be putting on oh is there anything else in there special pair of shoes <gasps> Them in, do you want me to carry your basket around? Yeah. Now you get on a pair of shoes then that you want to put on. I've got to put them on. Yeah, any pair. Right, clue number two, are we ready? If I've broken something by being a fool, then you will probably end up fixing it with a... Tool. And where are they? Where? In the shed. In the shed, go on then. Nice. Go, 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 go. Yeah, what you got? Mini eggs and orange sprouty eggs. Nice, nice. Any more? No. No, you can't see any more. Out you come then, lock the shed. Inside our house, see Tom? Yeah. We've got a very cheeky Henry bear. Today you can find him trying to steal treats from a drawer which holds your... Gym wear. Close. What about up a few drawers? Underwear. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Can you see anything? Don't show oh, we're not going to show you your underwear, are we? <laughs> what have you got? Oh, your Fulton's bunny. Is that what you asked for for Easter? The next club is. Have you checked behind the Act Ruins yet? The Act Ruins? Hmm, what could that spell if it was There's rearranged? Something. Act Ruins, what if that was rearranged? Oh, can I write it down? Write it down, yeah, that's why we're in the spare room. Oh, so you're not writing it as a word, you're writing it as separate letters, huh? Yeah. I can see it, but I think that's because I know what it is. <laughs> Act ruins. What was the whole clue? Have you checked behind the act ruins yet? Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Where's their curtains? <laughs> oh, oh, right chunky. there. Chunky. Yeah, you liked Kit Kat chunkies, didn't you? Yeah. That's it. Get underneath. Have a look. Good look around. What about down the sides and down the back? <laughs> You can't find anything down that side. No? Try looking down the other side again. <laughs> try... <laughs> See, Tom? Yeah. Try looking down the other side again, where you were a minute ago. Down there? Yeah. Try... Stand up and try having a look over there. Look at it from a height. <laughs> <laughs> First in pink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like him because right. I think he's gonna be white chocolate. White chocolate figure with dried raspberry and strawberry concentrate. Mm. I'll give him a go. Give, yeah, I'll, I'll like him if you don't, so it will end up with me, but <laughs> couldn't not get you a, a piggy Easter egg, could I? <laughs> the first time I get lost in this, I will probably have to reroute. You can find your biggest surprise hiding in my boot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Might be melted by now, you might not have been quick enough on your hunt. What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> what have you found? A little wreck. Show us. Oh, wow. So, I was about to ask somebody to review her Easter egg hunt, however, she is plump tuckered out yeah that's it hide away absolutely exhausted this year i did a lot more running around than last year and here she's laid out all of her goodies which now that it's here is actually a lot more than what it kind of looked like i really can't believe i bought this much we've got all of like the packet stuff in the basket and then all of the eggs out and yeah that's about it really that's the end of easter egg hunt 2020 can i get a hoya 2021. 2021. Alright, that's the end of the Easter egg hunt 2021. Can I get a hoya? Can I get a whoop whoop? 
and I don't really know what plans for the rest of the day consist of. I might go out driving this afternoon. Maybe we'll go and get a nice little McFlurry. I'll still bring you along with me for the rest of the day, but that's pretty much the end of the Easter fun until I crack out some of the chocolate tonight. I really don't know what I'm gonna go for. Like, this is enough to last us a how of a long time. I actually can't believe it. But um, yeah, I'll bring you along with me, show you what we're getting up to. Can't believe that I've just done an Easter egg hunt that big. I didn't really film too much for the rest of the evening, but as you can see, it ended with me going on a drive and picking up a McFlurry for myself and Charlie before coming back and spending a few hours on the jigsaw puzzle. Dinner this evening was a vegetable pizza and some mozzarella dippers from M&S and that's all I have for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.